The leadership of the 10th National Assembly will be inaugurated in June and the APC is currently in crisis over what some members of the party have described as skewed arrangement that reinforces injustice and enhances inequity. We'll be taking a look at the crisis rocking the APC today on The Breakfast. The beach experience in Nigeria is different for various people, sometimes according to generation or location. What is the beach going experience like now, especially here in Lagos? We'll be taking a look at that also on the show this morning. We'll also be taking a look at headlines on some national dailies. Without the press, where we have an analyst join us to look at the headlines. Good morning and welcome to The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. I am Maureen. And I am Nyamgul. It's a pleasure to have you this morning. It's a Friday morning and thank God it's Friday. Mm -hmm. and, uh, <laughs> and that's why it's good that we're going to be looking at some kind of relaxation and zeroing in on the beach experience. The theme for this morning is having a fun time in Nigeria, no longer inexpensive or simple. Mm -hmm. okay. How is your fun time? Is yeah. it costing you an arm and a leg? Mm -hmm. Or is it what it used to be? I, I doubt that. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing is what it used to be anymore. Nothing is what it used to be. Uh, even, even dating is not what it used to be. You it know. cannot be what uh, it used At some point, people were going to where there was nature. They go to parks, the theme parks. They go to waterfalls. They go to the beach. They go to places that they are connected with nature. They, go, they give flowers as gifts <laughs> and all that. Now, I'm not sure you're going to give any girl any flower. They will say... I don't chop vegetable tire. <laughs> <laughs> I don't <will> send you. <laughs> they want something else. And everything is really expensive. Well, values are changing. Mm -hmm. uh, well, things change. You see, change is the only thing in life that's constant, right? Yeah, so see. just because I appreciated flowers and scented mm -hmm. lengthy letters mm -hmm. when I was a teenager, doesn't mean that if I decide that a car will be good this time. Yeah, yeah, but that is you this time. That's you this time. You have metamorphosed. Like that. that doesn't mean that, mm -hmm. you know, I'm no longer a good person. Yeah, you, are, what you have you metamorphosed saying? into that. I'm saying the mm. generation of nowadays, I'm not sure uh, they will appreciate the flowers that guys in those days could give to ladies and the kind of uh, letters they would write, poetic letters poetic to their... Sentence. Yeah, so, um, but nowadays, I'm not sure anybody has the time to read long letters anymore. <laughs> I'm not sure anybody has the time to collect flowers and say that is a love gesture. In Nigeria, I'm not talking about outside. Mm. Uh, so when people say Nigerians are not romantic, Africans are not romantic, and I ask them, will you accept a flower as a Valentine gift? Nobody will in Nigeria. Nigeria. So, uh, but any man that gives a woman only flower on a Valentine's Day also has problems. In Nigeria. In counseling. In Nigeria. In Nigeria or anywhere <laughs> yeah, That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Especially so, in Nigeria. In Come Nigeria. On. We are no, Nigerians. Nobody are wants that. People, you, you, so. want, you want to go to an eatery. You want mm. to go to a cinema. You want to go to other places. Of course, values have changed. Things mm -hmm. that uh, constitute fun have changed as well and all that. We, we understand that. Uh, but uh, at the end of the day, you find out that... Um, it is the little things that really matter, you know. Mm -hmm. So after all the money, after all the everything, what you will be seeking, for instance, if you're married to a millionaire, a multimillionaire or billionaire, and he has no time for you, you'll find out that it's the attention that you really want, not the money that maybe attracted you to the house. And attention costs nothing. I think the key word, Nyango, is balance. All right, so if you give your wife money, gifts and all of that, you're not there something is missing. And if you're always there and you're not bringing money, you're not solving problems, you're not adding value, something is missing. What, what, what value are you talking about now? Uh, adding what value? If you're always there, are you hungry? You're not hungry. Are everything, you food? Everything is, no, are you food everything as a is human there, being? but... Uh, are you house rent as a human being? Are you luxury trips and luxury clothes or whatever it is that 
tickles the fancy of your partner. You know, you got to balance things. Yeah, out. but what I'm saying is, all those things might be there. Mm -hmm. All those things might be there. You're you're paying the rents. You're providing the food and all that. But at at her birthday, you cannot provide a, a Range Rover, for instance, like some other people will do. Mm -hmm. So if they put you side by side with the person who kind of provide the Range Rover, a lot of people will go for that. Even though you are here giving the balance, but the balance on the other side of the financial benefits is not good enough. They will leave you, go to that person whose financial balance is good. And Different then after from, that, yeah. they will come back <laughs> and date you <laughs> and be in that person's house. I mean, how does that even work? Some of them date their drivers and uh, their houseboys and all that. I know someone who, at the end of the day, uh, married the house, the house boy. Wow. Uh, the house boy, yes. And the, 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 the man was an ambassador. He had everything and all that. But of course, he will be doing his diplomatic duties, going from place to place and all that. And the wife resorted to, you know, uh, becoming the, boy, the girlfriend of the, the house yeah, help. And it, it, I wouldn't even say it's because she didn't love her husband anymore. I think it's because the husband failed in his responsibilities as a man in the house. And as I said, balance is the you word. Know, no, but the question is, did he fail? Because, okay, I'm an ambassador. You married me as mm -hmm. you married a diplomat. You knew my schedule of work. It's not that if I'm at home, I'm unavailable. But if I have to travel maybe um, uh, three weeks in a month and I'm always only available in, for one week mm -hmm. and inside that one week that I'm available, I'm available like in everything. Mm -hmm. But because I'm away three uh, weeks in a month, you say I do not love you much or I did not do enough that I should have done. Should I have left my work because of you? So if you're t talking balance, balance according to who? You are the woman, you are at home, you know the kind of man that you married. But at the time that he should give you attention where uh, he is at home, he's giving you, but his duties are taking him out, and you accuse him that he didn't do yeah, enough. Yeah, but you know, this is, you're painting a different scenario here, Nyamgo. This is different from whether you have money or whether you don't have mm -hmm. money. You're talking about what the relationship failure. You see that there's a lack of communication or the woman is not a virtuous woman in the sense that um, she doesn't see any problem sleeping with another man while she's married to another. All right. So these are two different things. Yeah. And I was so, talking about balance. You can also look at it from a, woman, a man's perspective, for instance, because it's not only women that leave their spouses. There are men who also leave their wives. And so when a woman gives birth, we've seen such scenarios as well. A woman gives birth, mm. and then she focuses on her children, ignoring the husband. Mm -hmm. Eventually, the man begins to feel isolated in his own home. Home no longer feels like home. And so what do such men do? Sometimes you find them looking outside. Yeah, but you, you're talking about ignoring, mm. ignoring a particular thing, ignoring your duties. Just like when you talk you about do, ignoring yeah. in the sense so, where the man is a diplomat yeah, and so, had to travel. No, but this is not ignoring. This is someone having to do his duty. He's you not can that he's be in unfit. London no, no, and be calling your wife almost on a day. You'll be conversing. I'm calling, yes. We have video calls and yes. all of that. But so while, you, I, while I you're people, calling. I know couples who live. Why have, this is an issue? Why yeah. this is an issue is yeah. that. For me, the man did not fail to call, to be there when he should be, and all that. But mm. his duties were taking him out. So it's not as if... You, we've seen cases where you're calling, and you, your woman or your man is with someone else and answering the call like there's nothing yeah, that happens. I, I, saw, I saw one, one, one guy was telling me that he had a girlfriend yeah. that came. He didn't know that the girlfriend had a fiancé or something. And this girlfriend came with a bed sheet. A, he, yes, a, a bed, bed sheet, sheet, yes. To where? To his house. So he didn't know why that happened. Then he now found out in the morning when the, the fiancé called her, she had to remove the, <laughs> the bed sheet from <laughs> her bag, spread it so that it would look like she is she at home. home. Okay. <laughs> and then answered the call seamlessly. There was no problem. So w what I'm saying is that, yes, sometimes these things about neglect happen and you, you may not blame the person. Yeah. But sometimes, even when 
these things do not happen. You find out that what really attracted you to go marry someone like that, who is a multimillionaire, for instance. If you m marry a multimillionaire, you would know he would be having meetings, he would be traveling Definitely. and all that. Yes. And you know that, but you thought in your head that since there's the money, I'm going to be satisfied. Then you get there, everything I is being provided. Money is not everything. Everybody is not everything. So like you said, balance. So when someone is thinking about a relationship, you're thinking about so many other things. Also think about the fact that there are little things that could matter more than the money that you're thinking about. So long as you get uh, enough to foot your bills and all that, and then the other side is also being satisfied, at the long run, you find out that you will, you will stay in love longer and you will be satisfied longer than when there is one side. Either too much love without any other thing, coming or too much other things Take coming without love. That's my very word, <laughs> balance. Mm -hmm. Whatever the situation is, are you marrying a rich man? Are you marrying a busy woman? Whatever it is, let there be balance. There must be friendship. There must be love. There must be respect, mutual respect. All right. And, and also it, it takes me back to what some marriage counselors would say. So many people spend more time preparing for all the ceremonies and not the marriage, the marriage itself. itself. Mm -hmm. Because if your mind goes beyond that first stage of the pomp and pageantry and you begin to think about how to make your partner happy, then the question of do I love him, are we friends, are we compatible, do I enjoy his company, do I enjoy her company, would definitely begin to roam around in your mind and you begin to assess the level of closeness that you share. And so if you have a close relationship, if you have friends, even if the man travels three months in a row for work, it would not make you cheat on him and it would not make you leave him for another person. You will not feel isolated because there is that trust, there is that understanding, you know, and why, then the why communication. Can't, why can't my flower give you trust? <laughs> Okay, I'm nice. advising you now, Nyambu. You better take my advice. Any man that gives a woman only flowers on Valentine's Day in this Nigeria needs counseling. Why would you say counseling. only flowers? Only. That's what I'm saying. Isn't that what you're saying? You, you know, I, I give you flowers. I, I, uh -huh, take, and what? I, I take you to the beach. We, we, we are in tune with nature. We write poems together. We talk. <laughs> yeah, that is good. Yeah. Because I, I thought you were I'm saying just hand you flowers. No, no, but I'm it. not taking you to the cinemas. I'm not taking you to uh, an eatery that they sell a bottle of water of 100 naira for 800 naira uh, just because I want to feel good and all that. I'm just going to a place where we can be together on our own, share the stories, laugh and all that. A lot of people will not accept that. You, you have to go to it's, an expensive place. It's an individual place. thing, yeah. I'm So it is, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. That the people of your, the people of, the of before... Um, used to value these little things, togetherness, friendship that but you're talking about. don't forget in the past, some of the things that we have today, mm -hmm. we didn't have them, especially in Nigeria. Yeah. No, let's just be honest. Well, no, no, very, what very, I'm saying um, is people used to value things differently. Friendship, companionship mm -hmm. was a big thing then. Yeah. Uh, if you want to look at a model, for instance, the, there are certain types of people that you look up to that this is what I want to become, I want my child to become nowadays, but uh, in those days, but nowadays, even parents, to show how values have changed, even yeah. parents buy laptops for their children and send them to go and train to become Yahoo. People, people do that now. Yeah, we had uh, Yahoo people, mothers, Yahoo yes. Boys Mothers Association. Yes, we point. have. Okay, <laughs> we have, we have people. Uh, I saw the the story the other day, two days ago or three days ago, where someone said his mother drugged the sister. Uh, for him to sleep with her so that his uh, Yahoo business will flourish. Oh, wow. So these are your children. You drug one and tell the other one to That's sleep with her. The, it's terrible. It is crazy. Some of them even ate them when they're doing these ritual killings and all that. So mm. values have changed. And that is why a lot of the problems that we have now, we do have. Because we need to know that value is not financial. Yeah, and, and then you also need to know yourself. When you know yourself, you know what you're looking for in a lady. Mm -hmm. So in the course of dating, mm -hmm. you date once, you go out the first time, second, third time, you should be able to know whether you guys are, mm -hmm. you know, you, you, what's that word? Whether you blend, whether you yeah, are compatible. compatible. Yes, is this person looking at life the way I am looking at mm -hmm. life or not? Then you stop if it is not 
there's no compatibility. By the way, there are some that are very good for dating and others that are good for marriage. Oh, well. So you can, you can decide, ah, let me just date this one and go. When it's time, I'll look for my You go my to leg. your girl in your village. <laughs> okay, uh, just a little bit about secure, um, not security now, traffic. Uh, today, uh, there, will be, there will start diversion in some places here in Lagos. We already know what we go through uh, whenever these diversions are made. So in line with the an ongoing rehabilitation of the bus rapid transit, that's the BRT corridor from Ikorodu, to stadium, the Lagos State Government has announced that traffic will be diverted at Ogolonto Junction from Friday, that's today, the 12th uh, of uh, May to 19th of May 2023, a duration of one week to enable seamless repairs of the field section. Allaying the fears of the citizens, the Commissioner for Transportation, Dr. Frederick Oladeinde, explained that traffic inbound Majidun and beyond from Oba Sekumade would be diverted to Agric to make a U-turn to access their desired destination, while traffic inbound Oba Sekumade uh, from Agric will be diverted to Majidun to make a U-turn and continue their journey. So if you are on that axis or you fly that axis all the time, uh, you know that there's a diversion, and if you need to move early enough because you think that the, your journey might be delayed a little bit, do so. It starts today, and it's going to last for one week. From this Friday to next Friday, that uh, repairs or whatever they're going, they're doing their rehabilitation will be done. So in the Korodu Axis to Stadium, that's what is going to happen from today. So be advised. Yes, be advised. And from that traffic report, we'll move over to... Top trending, mm. and uh, the first top trending we'll be looking at is Supreme Court of Johnson Namdekanu's case until September 14th. Well, delayed resolution to case is slapped to justice and fair trial is one of the sentiments mm. up in the air over this matter. Mm. But there you have his picture there. Uh, his doctors have said his, his health is, is being threatened uh, by lack of care. Yeah, I know. I know that the the federal government might might have reasons why they are doing this. But since the courts have made pronouncements, I think they should just obey these pronouncements. And what are they really afraid of? What are they really, really, really afraid of? But well, the next administration is coming to inherit yeah. a case that is very controversial. Very he has not been pronounced guilty, as it were. So if uh, this continued imprisonment without declaring guilt, then why is he being held? So is it because the federal government has the past to do and undo, as we say in Nigeria, or not? We should show respect to the law. And that's the whole thing that makes a country what it should be. That is Respect what strengthens our democracy. Respect the law. That is all. Don't buy the law. Don't, don't, don't go against the law. Don't behave with impunity and all that. That's what makes a country. And every time people talk about establishments, uh, the institutions are not strong enough and all that, the institutions are there with all the laws, but we're not ready to obey the laws. And the people who should make us obey the laws are the ones that are flaunting the laws. They are the ones that are breaking the laws. Yeah, but, and the thing is this also, Nyamgo, even if the government has a strong case, if the government is not seen to respect court's ruling on, on that case, mm -hmm. it then begins to weaken the strength that the government may have mm -hmm. on that case. Mm -hmm. So you are holding in someone, you know, uh, you're accusing someone of terrorism, for instance, or treason, and a court rules in this way, follow the court ruling mm -hmm. while you pursue further your mm -hmm. argument. Yeah. It will then give respect to whatever charges you may have against that person. Mm -hmm. People will begin to look at these cases objectively. Mm -hmm. But when the government begins to disobey court rulings on that matter, mm -hmm. then it becomes suspicious and people begin to wonder what exactly is the matter in this case. And then there is this issue that even court cases, any other court case, uh, the federal government has a tendency of not obeying or the people in government have a tendency of not obeying. If, let's say, there are 100 cases and the federal government has obeyed 99, and this one is the only one that we're seeing that they are not obeying, in quote, we'll start to think there must be a serious issue. 
But right now we know that they have a precedence yes, of not obeying court cases. So it will be as if, okay, is it their normal thing that they're doing? So whether there's a security problem or not, we already do not believe them. And that's why it's good for government to build trust. So that trust. anything you do, we know that, okay, you must have a reason. Yeah. That's the benefit of someone who is trustworthy, enjoys, that he must have a reason that he's doing this. This is so unlike him exactly. or her, but he's doing this because there's a reason we may not know and we will believe you. But now, who believes it? The danger in that is that if a standard is set mm -hmm. in that motion, if a standard is set, a standard of disobeying court rules mm -hmm. and injunctions, mm -hmm. then our democracy as we know it, or as we knew it, we may never have it again. <laughs> I know there have been calls who say, look, our democracy is different from that of America and all of that, but can our difference be of international standard, please? Even as we differentiate it from that of the U.S. or the whichever, can we be of international standard so that we can be emulated Emulate Nigeria's democracy. It's beautiful, it's this, it's that, yeah. it's top notch. Yeah, if, if and not if that we, we flout laws yeah. and that we if we built our differences into our democracy, it might have worked well. It's, it's, like, it's like telling me that because you are now civilized, uh, you want to eat fufu and draw soup with, with fork and knife. I cannot do that, no matter how civilized I become. I either not eat it, or I eat it how my ancestors showed me. Because the white man that is telling me I must use fork and knife, eats pizza without even washing his hands. So it's not about being dirty, it's about what we have been told to do as the right thing. Table manner says you use fork and knife to eat fufu, to eat gari. Okay, it's, it's fine, a lot of people do it. I will not do it. I'm a local man, village man. So, but the thing is, if you copy something, know that you have your own differences. Mm -hmm. So I see, I see something on the internet. Someone wears it, and it's very good. I have a pot belly. The person doesn't have. Mm. It fits him so much. And I go and get it. I wear it. It comes out some way. And you say, <laughs> what I ordered and what I got. <laughs> what does that mean? You yeah, think I about your body like and yes. see what fits you. So that's what democracy, the democracy we're practicing here is. We borrowed it from somewhere where things work differently from how it works here. Yeah. Why not we build these our differences into it and see how... Internalize. Yes, we can internalize it and then make it global. It's not the same democracy that they have in America that they have in China, but it's still democracy. It's not the same one they have in North Korea. It's not the same one they have in Saudi Arabia or any... It's not even the same one they have in the UK where they have a monarchy, the monarchy and then they, and then have, they have the prime ministers and all, it's still democracy. Mm -hmm. But we just borrowed it, and anytime it works in our favor, we follow. <laughs> anytime it doesn't work, we jettison it and all that. It's, I mean, it's not good. If in the democracy that we have, we recognize, for instance, the first lady, let's put it in our constitution. But now it's not in our constitution, but there's money voted to that office of mm. the first lady, which should not be. And there are functions that the First Lady takes, which should not be. It's not in the Constitution. Mm -hmm. So now, why not we say, okay, a man's wife is very important in our culture. So let's find a way to put it in the Constitution that when somebody becomes president, his wife will have X, Y, Z functions to do. Well, you've just given the incoming government something to consider. Let's look at the top trending number two. Plateau workers begin indefinite strike over salaries. The action <laughs> declared in a notice it's of strike issued by the Joint Negotiating Council Plateau Chapter on Wednesday night in Joss. Yeah, I'm just laughing. Why does it have to always re result in a strike? You know, why would someone come to be a governor and resolve not to pay salaries? Salaries that you do not even take home. Sometimes you spend more money on transport and then loading your phone and doing the job that you're supposed to do that you don't even find that money uh, after the, the first week in your bank account. Sometimes the money is spent before it gets into your bank account and someone is still owing you. Mm -hmm. How many civil servants earn up to 150,000? And then how many people can go a whole month when you have to pay school fees, you have to feed your family, you have to dress and all that, you have to travel, and then there are emergencies that come, and then there are family members that think that you are working, 
you foot all those bills and 150 is still enough for you. And then someone is still owing you. There are, owing you months. There are people who are earning 60,000. There you 000. have the face of the governor it's, of Plateau State. It's terrible. Simon Lalong um, owing salary. <laughs> <laughs> well, and that's well, the why. strike followed the expiration of four days extension of the earlier seven days optimism given to the government to pay salaries. It really hurts me. It really does hurt me when I see people in states being owed salaries. I yeah. mean, that is the barest minimum that you can give them. Some it is the barest, especially, and as, as I have said repeatedly, for an OPEC nation, member nation mm. as Nigeria, you know, when you see the way people in Saudi Arabia and these other OPEC member nations live, the way their citizens live life, I mean, they are living the life. They live large. They live large. <laughs> oh, God of mercy. And so you see our people here just being owed the, they want the to little go. salaries I that they, 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 they are supposed to be paid. Okay. And then you ask yourself, why, why do people go into offices knowing there are challenges there without having solutions that they can proffer? We they're, are tired of being, being reminded by some of these failing governors. We're tired of being reminded of the challenges and reasons why they couldn't pay salaries. These issues were there before you vied for these offices. If you didn't have a solution to it, wait till you go find for <laughs> there. And then after four years, they will not want to continue. Mm. I think it's just uh, an act of irresponsibility. Because most times, these salaries, these monies are there. And you're doing some other things. For instance, some of them will build flyovers and then owe the people the salary. People who are working, they owe them salaries. Now, take the case of Oshun, for instance. They were being owed salary for months. And in ne the, the next governor that came, the Adelike, oh, yeah, I mean, uh, uh, Adelike, Adelike yeah. that came, paid the salaries. Did he pay from his pocket? Exactly. No. That means the money was there. It was just not prioritized that, okay, we have to do this. So why do people go into office, like you say, you don't have a game plan, like, okay, this is what I'm going to do. And whatever you're going to do, you, a laborer deserves his wages. Mm. You must not owe. And then every other thing that you want to do, you can do. If you say the, 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 the burden of paying salaries is too much and you want to cut down, you will have you will have a plan so that even if you are downsizing, the people who are living will have an environment that they can thrive without having to work for you. Yeah, the private sector should thrive to be able to absorb it. Look, no government, no government can provide all that their True. citizens need. True. And I do wish that when we sit here to talk about Nigeria, to talk about the things we see on the headlines, we'll have more positive things to talk about. Because Nigeria is ours and we need to project it in good light, right? But the headlines are not looking, they're not giving they're us not, things to talk not. about that project the country in good light. So I, I just hope that this incoming administration, both at the state level mm. and at the federal level, would change the narrative. Mm. Give us good things to talk about. Our, because Nigeria is such a great place. We mm. are so blessed. There's no part of Nigeria where you throw anything and it wouldn't grow on its own. True. The lands are so arable and blessed. Anyway, uh, we do hope that the, the political weather will change. And talking about weather, let's just take a break and look at what the weather actually is right now before we come back for Off the Press. Stay with us.